What is up everybody, ADS Play 101 here, aka Azarel, and welcome to another Azarel's Taste Test, and today, we're going to be checking out something I've been wanting to try out forever, ever since I got to California, or ever since I moved into the new place I'm in right now, and this is called Chicago's Pizza with a Twist. Now, the twist is, this is traditional Chicago deep dish pizza, even though the place has like original crust, thin crust, etc, etc, hand tossed, all that. But uh, this is a Chicago deep dish pizza with Indian flavors. Now, when I, when I say Indian, I mean East Indian. Uh, like, for example, they have, as you see right here, the masala, <clears throat> butter chicken, you know, tandoori, curry so uh, flavors, creamy garlic sauce, you know, just a variety of things. So it's very, the flavor, the, the pizza itself is in the style of what you would consider Chicago deep dish, but the flavors are heavily influenced by East Indian uh, flavors. So that's the, the twist with this. So this cost me about $24. Um, I got it through DoorDash, so it came to be around like 29 uh, and some change. Um, so reasonably priced. Uh, considering that the ingredients seem to be fresh, so without further ado, man, I'm finna. That's just cheese. I'm finna crack this open. Let me tell you, man, the, the smell of the. Ah, uh, here it is. Boom. So the style of pizza that I got, I got tandoori, so a Chicago deep dish um, with tandoori sauce, tandoori chicken, paneer cheese, which is a very solid cheese that you know East Indian. Uh, cuisine, you know, it's very traditional in this season. It's it, it's a very uh, thick cheese. It doesn't really melt easy. It's more so for like texture and, and for like uh, the um, the uh, dang, what's the word I'm looking for? It's pretty much like a thick cheese that doesn't melt easy. You know, so that's basically. And I got spicy chicken, <laughs> so. I got tandoori chicken, tandoori paneer, and and uh, spicy chicken with a tandoori sauce, you know, mozzarella cheese, and a Chicago deep dish style uh, crust. So I'm ready to dive into this thing. I haven't had anything to eat in a while, so I am very hungry. That being said, man, let's uh. Let's dive into this. This smells incredible. Like I can't even describe the smell to you because I never had these flavors before, ever. So the pizza smells very well done. Um, so let's go for a bite. So here's my take on it. The, 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 the it's good pizza. Don't get me wrong. Mm. And it's very fresh, so I have no complaints on that. I can taste the chicken and tandoori sauce. I never had it before, so I can't really describe it to anybody. Um, it's savory. I, I'll give it that. Oh, shit. Almost got my phone in there, pizza. Yeah. Um, the crust is very well done. I'll give it that, and that's always a plus. Um, and It's very crispy, very chewy. It's good crust. The tandoori chicken, it's flavorful, but maybe doesn't have whatever that tandoori sauce is. I wish they, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not used to the flavor to even get a, a good description of it. This is the paneer cheese right here. This is what I'm talking about. Like, like it's a very solid, hearty cheese. That's the word I was looking for earlier, hearty. 
you know it doesn't melt it's, it's meant to be um like a very filling cheese because the, the way that it's made it doesn't melt easy and it kind of keeps a firm texture um but it's very good so if you're a cheese fanatic i, I, I think paneer cheese is the way to go for you um The sauce is fine, but I think the sauce kind of over. I don't, I don't know if it, if it's because I got the deep dish style. I've never had deep dish pizza before at all, ever. And I'm like, this is the first time I'm ever, I'm ever having it. So I think the sauce kind of overpowers everything else. Like you can taste the, the 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 tandoori chicken, you can taste the spicy chicken, and the spicy chicken isn't even that spicy. It's just like. It has flavor. It has a, a slight kick to it, but it's not. It, to me, I, I grew up on spicy food, so for me, that's not even relatively close to being spicy, or rather, what I would consider spicy. Um, it's a fine pizza. Like it's a pretty good pizza, and you can tell the, the ingredients are good. They're fresh. Yeah, other than that, I really don't have any complaints. Um, I think the sauce kind of overpowers everything, but I think that goes down to the type of pizza that I got. Maybe if I would have got like a thin crust or a hand sauce, I'd be able to taste the ingredients better. Like the chicken and the paneer, um, the cheese, it will come through the entire slice of pizza um, a lot better, but so, so, so I'll take the blame for that. Other than that, man, it's a really good pizza. I mean, I have no complaints. I'm satisfied with what I got. So, the way I rate my food when I do food reviews, I do a thumbs up, a sideways thumb, or a thumbs down. This one definitely gets a thumbs up for me. Um, in terms of um, how well the bread is done. You know, individually, you can taste the ingredients. That's a spicy chicken. Cena by itself, by itself, that spicy chicken actually is very well cooked. Like, like the chicken is still juicy, it's still tender. You know, what I'm saying like it's not dry. It does have like a little garlicky taste to it. I, I don't know, like whatever that spice is that they use, it, it doesn't like have like a fiery spice to it. It's more like a flavorful spice. Um, Paneer chicken is good, the tandoori chicken is good. Individually, each of the ingredients is good, but when it gets on that, that slice of pizza, I think the sauce kind of overpowers everything. But it still gets a thumbs up from me because I like it. And um, I think it works. Um, and this, with this being my first experience with a Chicago style pizza, maybe I, you know, people from Chicago, maybe maybe they'll disagree with how this is made. <laughs> I know California, they got a couple things that they claim is New Orleans style and me being from New Orleans it's not what they try to make it out to be at all you, you, you got to get the authentic experience from New Orleans you can't get it anywhere else um, other than that place but, but from what up but from my experience it's good so if you ever have a Chicago pizza with a twist where you guys are you know, if they do different let me know down in the comments man and with that being said if you like what you see man thank you guys for watching peace and I'll be back with more food reviews for more things that I tried for the first time ever and remember be humble in victory be gracious in defeat but show no mercy to food until next time peace keep on eating